morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day um i have that kroger slash pick and save a uh, small stock up grocery haul for you and uh, let's get right into it let me just move the camera around again i have the camera on a tripod because my gimbal doesn't work and if i just hold the phone it it'll just be too shaky so uh, got some Intamin's donuts over here, and if you've watched my videos in the past, you know I love these Intamin's donuts, the chocolate with the yellow inside. I only buy these in the fall and winter because it's cold outside, and in our uh, hallway before we enter the house, I always leave these in there because it gets cold in there, and... When you get a, one of those donuts and you break them in half, it has a snap to it. And I love that. <laughs> so Entenmann's is my favorite donuts. Now these were buy one, get one free. So the other box I don't have here, but it was uh, the, the donuts with the crumb on it. Um, crumb donuts or whatever. So it was buy one, get one free. When Entenmann's is not on sale, I do not buy them. And I do not buy them in the summertime either because the chocolate just gets too melty and I don't have that snap. So that's just the thing with me. <laughs> All right, so Entenmann's Donuts. We got four cans of this Bruce's Candied Yams and it's in Kettle Simmered Syrup. We love can uh, canned candied yams and I got four cans as a stock up. I'm tr I'm starting to stock up for the Thanksgiving uh, holiday. We normally go through at least two cans uh, during the Thanksgiving uh, couple days. And I got four of them because we use them throughout the year too. Like if we have a chicken dinner or if we buy another turkey for throughout the year. So... I don't want to wait till Thanksgiving and not be able to find them. So I already have four cans there. Got two cans of wax beans. Glenn likes these. Um, you drain them and put them in a microwavable dish with some butter, a little bit of milk and pepper and warm it up. And he likes it that way. Wax beans are rather expensive now. Uh, one can is over $2. I think it's $2.25 or something like that. So I only bought two of them. He doesn't have these all the time. But I still like to keep them on stock for when he does want to have some. So I bought two cans this time. And uh, if I go to pick and save again soon, I'll probably buy another just one another can. Just to slowly build up the stock on those. So... Not not the cheapest, but he still likes those. And you can't find those wax beans uh, everywhere. And then we got four cans of the Green Giant sweet peas. Uh, Glenn's the only one that eats uh, sweet peas. I'm not a pea fan. And he likes the Green Giant brand, so that's the only brand I get them. And they don't have Green Giant at Walmart. They only have it at Kroger. I'm sure they have it like at Festival and uh, Piggly Wiggly. But of the three, of those three stores, Pick and Save would be the cheapest. So, so I got four of those because he is completely out. And so I just want to keep some stock on that. Got a Miracle Whip. We do have an open... A jar of Miracle Whip in the fridge and I always with everything when I'm on my last one I like to have one in stock so I don't run out and have nothing and then got some uh, stackers kosher dill pickles these are the slices the skinny slices I'm not a great pickle fan uh, Glenn likes them more than I do so out of this jar I'll probably have one, two at the most, <laughs> and I already had one. So I am I'm recording this haul late, like a couple days late, and uh, so we've already eaten some of the stuff. 
So I'll tell you what's not here after I'm done here. And then I got Glenn a jar of uh, jalapeno peppers. He ran out the other day, so got that. I got a can of enchilada sauce. I do have enchiladas on the menu for this month. And the reason I buy the can of enchilada sauce is I've made my own before and I did not like it. And we use very little bit on our enchiladas because we don't like them drenched in the sauce. That I actually, when I make enchiladas for two nights, will have half of this can left. So I'm actually going to freeze half of this for a second time we have enchilada sauce, uh, enchiladas. So I am not even going to go near as using all of this can. So it will get frozen. And then uh, over here, the Land O'Lakes. Land O'Lakes butter. And these were on sale. The normal price at Pick and Save is $5.79 for Land O'Lakes. And they were on sale. If you bought three, you get two dollars off. Or they're yeah, a little more because these were uh three forty nine. These were three forty nine for Lando Lake, so I got three of those. And I'm starting to run low on butter, so I wanted to start stocking up on that. So I got three Lando Lakes, and the produce here. Let me put this a lot closer. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is getting really dry. And got some avocados. Got four avocados. Got some bananas. I uh, got some uh, some of those small Campari tomatoes that I like. And I had a lettuce. And we've already used some of the tomatoes and the lettuce. And what's not pictured here. I picked up a three-quarter pound of uh, badger baked ham, and we've already eaten all of it. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm recording this a couple days late, so we had sub sandwiches, I guess you can say, but just on bread and rolls, and we had those for lunch, and then we also had omelets with it. So yesterday morning I made ham and cheese omelets and then I had a, the night I made the picadillo where I couldn't finish it because it was just too spicy. I ended up eating a ham sandwich. So, uh, so the ham is gone and I also picked up some, uh, uh, Pepsi and, uh, what else? Oh, a pack of, uh, lemon Oreo cookies. If you have never had the lemon Oreo cookies, pick those up. They are good cookies. And, uh, yeah, so, again, just trying to slowly stock up again for the winter on canned foods. I still do, I still do need to get a couple more things. This has been a week of um, ordering from Walmart and quick runs to pick and save. I actually went to pick and save once, but... Um, but because the way Gypsy's feeling and with her diarrhea, I don't want to leave her alone too long. So I'm more so ordering from Walmart because if she has to go out in emergency, I want to be here to make sure she gets out. So, so yeah, um, a couple more things that I have forgotten to get and I'll probably have to get those. So, <laughs> but this is the pick and save slash Kroger haul. And yep, I'll show you the other things that I say I treated myself to when we went camping. And uh, I'll talk about that when I show you that part. Um, when I say I treated myself, I don't, there isn't anything that I, I really want for myself, honestly. Um, the most I, I get is bird food and that's to feed the birds. It's not really for me, but it's my enjoyment. So that's pretty much all I want for myself. Everything else I get is for 
the kitchen, which because I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, I consider it for myself because Glenn doesn't come in here. Just like I don't, you know, do anything in the garage, but hang out in the summertime to bird watch. Um, but yeah, so when I say for myself, it's something that I want either for the kitchen or whatever. So yeah, there's nothing really I want for myself though. But here's that clip of uh, what else I bought. Okay, everyone. So yes, like I said, I treated myself. These are beautiful and they are tempered glass cutting boards. And they were only $11.89. When we were camping last week, uh, our friend Greg from the that we met there that gives us the firewood and fish, he told us about an Amish or Mennonite store um, just out of town. And so we went there and, and we had sandwiches from the deli and got a couple other... Uh, treats from there uh we got some fudge from there oh i got something else that i got from there let me show you okay so before i go over these i don't i don't buy stuff for myself like this i don't remember the last time i bought something for myself like this um usually if i get a little extra money i i use it to buy stuff for the the cats or gypsy or food for the house but when i saw this stuff i couldn't resist and i thought and glenn talked me into it too he says no you're always spending your extra money on stuff for the house or the fur babies he said buy it for yourself he said this time just buy it for yourself so I did. <laughs> so, and when I went into this Mennonite store, unfortunately, Glenn couldn't go in um, because we didn't have a scooter or anything. But this is what I got. These are all stickers. These are die cut stickers. You got goldfinches, bluebirds, Oreos, all the backyard birds that I love. And so, and then this was $1.85. And I actually, <laughs> I actually second guessed uh, even buying it, um, even at a dollar eighty five. I just I'm all, oh should I? <laughs> and I'm all screw it. I'm buying it for myself. I love the stickers. And let me show you what I put stickers on. Okay, so this is my little laptop. This laptop, uh, the screen is like 11 point something inches. And when I got this laptop, I don't know how long ago, I got it because it was cheaper than buying a bigger laptop. <laughs> That's how much I don't want to spend on this. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a little laptop. This is what I do my editing on. I just hook it up to a, uh, a bigger monitor because it is kind of small to see and the older I get my eyes are getting worse so I would like to have a 15 15.6 inch I think um laptop because it'd be nice and big but this is what I can do with now especially if I hook it up to a 20 inch monitor but anyway that wasn't the point <laughs> this is where I put stickers so this is the living life one day at a time channel sticker I put on here and this is the the sticker that was on the envelope that Donna Kinsman sent me and I said how much I love that sticker well I carefully peeled it off and stuck it on here because I love those wax wings the cedar wax wings and the bohemian I love birds so so I'm going to take some of these stickers and put them on my laptop so that's yeah, I couldn't pass those up, I guess. All right, so let's get to this. All right, so these tempered glass cutting boards. I've never had a glass cutting board. I've had Dollar Tree cutting boards, Walmart cutting boards, and that last big cutting board I ordered from Amazon last year. Um, but look how beautiful this is. Here, let me uh, 
so you can get a better look. Actually, I'll take it out for you. And these are 12 by 16. And this is the back of it. They got little uh, things here, so little rubbers, <laughs> little rubber pieces, so they can, uh, they won't scratch on the countertop. But look at that. Yeah, look at look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's got all the backyard birds, and you know I love birds. We got the cardinal, the chickadee, the goldfinch, the grosbeak, the bluebird, the chickadee again, the nuthatch, the downy woodpecker, another bluebird, a blue jay, and the sparrow. But they had different uh, bird cutting boards with different pictures, but this was the absolute most beautiful one there. I had, I saw that and I knew I was going to take this one home with me. Now these are supposed to be scratch resistant and heat resistant. If any of you have ever had tempered glass cutting boards um, and you use them as cutting boards, can you drop down in the comments how, how they work or it is okay to cut on them. I'm assuming it is because it just says scratch resistant. So, oh yeah, there's a little hummingbird at the end here, at the little corner here. <laughs> Almost missed that little guy. But I thought these were absolutely beautiful. And for less than $12, oh, I couldn't pass that up. So I'm glad Glenn talked me into buying them. Yep. Sometimes I feel guilty after I buy them, but I, I didn't this time. I love them. So let me show you the other one. Okay, so here is the other one that I loved. And this was Glenn's favorite too. Because I actually, I took pictures of some of them and sh so I can show them uh, which ones they had. And this was his favorite. They had a cabin one. Um, but I love this one too. And... The reason I wanted to get the wolves is because that's a part of what brought Glenn and I together is our love for um, wolves and nature and huskies. So when we see wolf stuff, you know, it automatically makes me think of that's a part of what brought us together. So and our whole hutch, we have a hutch full of wolf decorations and uh, they come off during the holidays but but yeah this is the other one thought it was beautiful as well so <laughs> I absolutely love these tempered glass cutting boards um, more so the pictures uh, if the pictures weren't there I obviously would probably wouldn't have bought them so yeah I treated myself this time <laughs> all right so yeah it, this is almost like you just want to use it as a decoration rather than a cutting board I'm a I'm afraid to put a knife across that so yeah I don't know I don't know about that yet <laughs> I just know I wanted them but okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the video out here I hope you enjoyed it Again, thank you so much for your support and taking this time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate all the new subscribers and those who have been following me for a long time um, since the beginning. I, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys. And as soon as we're done with the outside for the season, um, I think we're going to get back to a live stream. And uh, yeah, I was going to say something else. And I forgot what I was going to say. I should write that stuff down. I totally forgot what I was going to say. I'll think of it after I'm done. <laughs> so, all right. Going to close it out. Again, thank you so much. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.